Hi guys and happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, August 1st and I should be changing my uh, cover sheet but I haven't because I've been, I was in Iowa yesterday um, to see my niece, her husband and my great niece and great nephew who were visiting for just a couple hours on their way um, back to Arizona. So I was in Iowa, got back late last night, and today I had to create a birthday card, which um I'll show you really quick. Um, using, this is a retired paper, but it's using the diorama dies, which I love. So um, I thought, hey, let me quick get on, do a quick video, and go over a stamp I haven't yet used, the spiral die. Now I got it right away, and as you can see, I haven't even mounted it yet. I usually put the label on and sometimes with the bigger labels you don't want to or I found that if you cut them especially with a pattern this big the direction is pretty much you can cut them in fourths and then put them on here if you want to. But I'm gonna leave this one off for now just because I really don't need that label that big of a die. So here is my four by twelve that you know basic white that I'm gonna put in the corner here going to make sure it's lined up. Two colors I'm going to use are Mango Melody and Magenta Madness. I'm in the double M's. Mossy Meadow. I mean, I've been using a lot of these colors recently. So, and you know that Mango Melody is my favorite. So, let me go ahead, uh, put that stamp case underneath there so I have uh, a little bit of support. Let me make sure I don't get off line. Oh, my magnet is underneath. All right, so here we go. Sorry that the camera's moving. All right. Oh, you still can't see. Let me get all the way up here. There we go. So you can see everything. All right, so I'm just inking it up really good. Good thing about the stamp positioner, as long as you put in the same, I'm sorry, the stamp apparatus. If you put it there and it's not a good inking, you can always re-ink and do more. All right, so I'm sure you've seen people using this technique on here, but I'm going to take it one step further. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a good rubbing on that side, and then we're going to flip it 180. Make sure your paper's still up there in the top. Make sure you're still lining it up with those lines. Let me go ahead, oh, let me grab my chamois, make sure that I have that cleaned off. I know, I'm cleaning my stamps. Can you believe it, people? You usually don't see me doing that. Okay, and I have one that's cut up in another holder, but um, this one was just handy and wet, good to go, so just went ahead and used that. All right, so now I'm going to use Magenta Madness. And we're going to go ahead, ink that up. And it's a strong color, but I'm going to leave it that way. I don't think I want to uh, water it down any by stamping it off once, doing it as second generation. Okay, so let's go ahead. That's still lined up. Let's go ahead and do that. Remember, that's turned 180 degrees. Okay, oh, look at that. Fabulous. Now I will wipe this off later. All right, so now for the second part of the card, let me put that over the side for now. I'm going to bring out my layering diorama dies. And I'm going to bring out the baby because they all fit through the baby, which is always good. Let me see. Here's my plates from earlier because I was making that birthday card. So on this, you're going to be using your base one and then two of the twos. Let me move this up a little. I'm going to start first with my Mango Melody. This is the smallest one. And let's see. Oops, I want to make sure that it's within the edges. Right, so we have that one. 
Now this card, when you mail it, is probably going to need um, a little bit more postage because it's going to end up being a little bit thicker. All right, my next color up, I'm going to do, I believe this is polished pink. It's not the, the Magenta Madness. It's the other pink in the in colors because Magenta Madness, of course, will be retiring after this catalog, but polished pink will stay on for will stay on for another year. Now, what I found with these, because you know, I told you sometimes it doesn't go through correctly. If you line up those twos on the plates, it'll always go through. So if you can see it or kind of have in the same area, those twos will always go through. All right, now I hope I thought this through correctly. And if not, well, we'll live and learn. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be offsetting them and we're going to be layering them on top of here. So it's going to be a really busy card. This is going to be like your throwback Thursday, your, um, your high school reunion, all in one. Um, and we'll see how many layers we actually use because it may get way too busy. So again, let's get that under there. Make sure that that plate's over. I'm using my left arm this time because, you know, all good stampers know that every other month you should switch your arms. That way you don't build up your one arm too much. Okay, not going to happen with me, but, you know, it's a funny thought. Okay, so now you want to make sure your last card is still smaller. Your top one is still smaller than your base. Okay, otherwise you're covering up all your stamping. So here's the last one. This is, oh, that was Granny Apple Green. This is, is this Coastal Cabana? Yes, Coastal Cabana. I always think I'm saying the right one between that and Bermuda Bay, um, but I usually end up messing them up. And um, people know I'm not a big uh, blue person. Now, as you can see, there's a little hanging out over there, but your cut's there. So I think we'll be okay. We'll see. Make sure I line up my two twos. All right, just a minute. Let me move it down a little bit so I can see my twos. That way I know it's lined up. There's my twos. I wonder if it's because it's so close to the edge. Let's see if we can get it going through this way. No, oh my gosh. Guys, I swear to goodness that this always works except when I'm on videos and then it goes haywire. All right, so let's go ahead, put that down there. I'm lining those up. And I wonder if it's because that is over the edge. It shouldn't be. Let's see, there we go. And that die barely goes through and that's the next to biggest die so only the very largest die will not go through your mini all right and see how that cut off there so what I'm gonna do is oh my goodness so let me go ahead put it back in there but now we'll put the die all the way I had it, remember that edge was off. So let's go ahead and do it like that, just to see if I can get that edge. Otherwise I'll just, I have the impression I can cut it out with my scissors. You know what, I'm just gonna cut it off with my scissors. Let me get my snips really quick, as you can see right where it's at. So let me get my snips out of the drawer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off where that circle is. Sorry, I'm off camera. It's because I sat down. Okay. 
And see, I probably should have made it a little bit bigger and gone through the big one because this is my last layer. So it's going to have to be taped down. All right, let me get this mess out of the way. All my dies, I should have had my metallic bowl out here just to make sure I don't lose any of those. And let's see how well we can do this. All right, so we're going to go here. And I don't want it to be matchy-matchy. So see, that's kind of matchy-matchy, but not quite. So I'm going to go a little offside here. And I'm going to get out my favorite adhesive. Now, most people think that with this one, you probably would want to do... Oh, it's already out. Um, probably want to do glue. I find that I want to not do glue because I want it to really stick. And as you can see, I'm holding one side down so it's not moving. Peeling up. Again, this is where nails would help if you had them. Now I want to go over that. I don't want any glue showing. So I'm going to go there. And now I can go on the other side. Pull that back over itself. Oh my gosh, it wasn't this difficult when I did it the first time. Not this design, um, the, the tear and tape. All right, I have a little there. Another old tool we used to carry, don't carry anymore, but you can find them everywhere, is the adhesive eraser. So you just go through there and it takes off your adhesive. Okay, so next layer was the green. So I think I want to do it kind of like that. So again, get my tear and tape. Get it where I want it. Put one strip down. Burnish it so it's easy to peel off. Go put down the other side. And this card, yes, when you mail it, will have to have extra postage if you don't hand deliver it because it's going to be very heavy with all the layers. Burnish the tape, peel it off, press it down. All right, I'm wondering do I want that last layer or not since I actually cut through my paper, which I shouldn't have. I don't think, I think I'll leave it just like that. I am going to put though underneath there, let me get a glue dot. And just kind of roll it up so it sticks down. There you go. All right. Then let's go ahead. This is where you can use your paper trimmer, but you might have to go a couple times. This is where I usually use a guillotine. And anyone who got the baby uh, Stampin' Up cutter during the Hostess special last month, this works perfectly. I'm not going to show it because not everyone has it. So let me go ahead. I'm going to trim it down the first time, just get a straight edge. Then I'm going to see how big this is. So see now this is five and a half, which is the normal card size. So let's see, it is card size this way. See that? I think I'm going to trim the bottom piece just a little bit more since we don't have that fourth layer. So I'm going to go to like a little fourth off of each side. And now this will go over. All right, you see that? Look how wonderful that is. Now, since we didn't have that layer, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this move it over here to cut off my little saying. I'm going to do this at half inch. Right, let me go ahead and get this out of the way. 
get my fresh freesia. Oh, and look at this. I got so tired because this is how old my bone folder was. I got a new one because as you can see, it's not cracking, but it's just getting dull. I like having that nice sharp point. So I treated myself, you know, July was my birthday month, treated myself to a new bone folder. All right, and since my phone is slowly dying, let's put that on there like that. So I'll show you how it is. So it's going to be a panel card, so I'm going to have it. I know I tried to trim that off just a little bit because I don't like that pink showing through. I'll remember, sure, when I get off the video that that's under there. So I'm going to go here. We'll get a little saying. Maybe we'll do the little... Banner look. All right, so that'll be straight across. Banner, and we'll get a little saying in there. All right, so the the front of my uh, description for this video will show you the finished piece. All right, so let me just get a few more little rhinestones and stuff on there finish it up and I'll post it as soon as I charge up my phone and I get the video uploaded. Thanks a lot guys and have a great Sunday.